My earliest memory of space is when I used to go stargazing. Um, we used to go camping when I was younger with my family. We used to just lie in the garden and stare at the stars for hours and try and work out all the constellations and everything. I'm pretty sure there were some space shuttle videos when I was a kid that, uh, that got me hooked. Two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. I always remember going to the Royal Air Force Museum in London. There was always space in the background there, but I think it was really during university that that finally sort of came to the forefront. And I very quickly shifted to the space sector. Many different disciplines sometimes can combine all the way from mechanical engineering through computer science to biology, astrobiology. I think the SPIN program is a good program for young, talented um, engineers and other space professionals to get some real-world experience. I was very interested in what the space industry could possibly have to offer. In Cornwall there is a lack of jobs, specifically for like creatives. Finding something that was local and it's on such a massive scale, it was just so exciting to be able to be a part of and learn more about space and meet new interesting people. And it's something that's really benefited me as a person myself and it's something that I'll be able to take forward after I leave uni. I have always absolutely loved the SPIN programme. It's really important, having come from a small town in Cornwall myself and ended up in this incredible industry, it's a huge sort of, I would say, ethical or personal ambition drive of mine to get other young people into the space industry as early as possible and for them to understand that you don't have to be a rocket scientist to work with rocket scientists. So Halo is like a PR and marketing company. We will go out and film lots of different events, but we work for a lot of different clients, work out some marketing plans for them, do their social media. There's a lot of things that we do. The benefits of having a spin turn, I mean, it's tenfold, really. There's a whole load of opportunities, writing, videography, design, creativity, all of those things. There's jobs like mine where you can go out and be in the space industry but be doing something more creative. Other businesses should definitely step forward, put their hand up and really explore the opportunities because the limit's only your imagination, especially if you're working in space. There's a whole raft of businesses out there that should be taking this up, but maybe they just don't know that's there for them yet. It's not something that I knew that I'd ever be working in like 10, 15 years later, but it's definitely a lovely surprise to see where I can go with this. I'm a deep space mission analyst, which means that I'm working on both uh, generation and optimization of trajectories uh, for sending a, a spacecraft from the Earth to the Moon. I was aware of the SPIN program for a number of years, and then this past year I thought it'd be a, an interesting opportunity to get some experience in sort of industry, and uh, this position came up and it seemed perfect given my interest in astrodynamics. We've actually had three cohorts of spin turns now at this point because we think they provide a wealth of expertise coming straight from university. And at the same time, we want to provide them the opportunity to be able to learn from industry and take that back into their academic careers and then into future industry as well. Since then, we've just found they've been uh, you know, excellent members to the team. They've really added value to our company. We've had them working in a variety of roles from helping develop some of our propulsion um, technology to developing hardware in our workshop space as well. I would definitely recommend that the SPIN program. I think it's really good that you can get these two months of experience in, in an actual company, learn what you want to do in industry. Grad schemes can be notoriously difficult to get onto, but it gives students a really good opportunity to be able to work on something for a short amount of time without having to fully step into like a grad role for two years or something. So I think it also gives the companies an extra opportunity to have students come in who are you know potentially looking to graduate soon. You can see if they fit into the company, if they fit into the work well, and it's a great opportunity to potentially line up a potential hire in the future as well. I think it's uh, definitely confirmed that it's where I want to be, that I want to be in the space industry. And there's a possibility that I might go back to my PhD and decide that actually I want to sort of move my research in a, in a slightly different direction. We at Orbit Valp are leading the way in space refueling. We have developed an interface that can be easily and readily integrated into our satellite to perform the refueling process. 
it's roughly 50-50 split between hands-on, technical prototyping, developing the, the products, as well as in the personal growing the, well, the company through getting in touch with new partners, um, writing proposals, essentially helping whenever you can to lead a project to its success on time and on quality. Patrick has done uh, very well in this, um, in this placement. We actually got what we wanted to get done sooner than what I expected, so it gave us a bit of space to explore other things. It's been a very positive experience. In the placement, I definitely learned both new skills and improved on my existing interpersonal skills, especially leading a very integrated project with different stakeholders and also learned many technical aspects relevant to starting a career in the space industry. We had a huge amount of applications, which was very encouraging for me. It was um, a very high quality problem to have so many talented and energetic applicants. Younger, less experienced members can bring a lot to the table in terms of creativity and new ideas and definitely energy. This has been the first time we've done the Spinturn program and we're definitely going to look to do it next year. I hope uh, next year it's as big of a success as it was this year. It's lovely to be here in Belfast. I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else has done during their spin internships and also hearing people from the industry talk. So I'm very grateful to Catapult and the UK Space Agency for spin. I haven't had any experience in the space industry before, so it is really nice to see how an actual space company work and get to know what companies do in the space industry. It has been a really great experience so far. The spin program this year has been great because it seems like there's a lot more interactivity. It's a much larger group of students. I know in previous years it's been you know, less than half the size it was this year. Now next year obviously they're, they're doubling in size. And it's been a great opportunity to meet other spin turns, which I did not get much of in previous years, but have definitely gotten this year. My eight weeks of internship was mainly focused on the FDM printing of space rated polymers and I actually got my internship extended. So it was meant to be eight, eight weeks and I asked to extend it so I've turned it into a year in industry. I would definitely recommend the SPIN program to anyone who's interested in the space industry. You don't need to be coming from an engineering background, anything space related is relevant and works. You don't have to spend that much time learning about space to actually learn everything there is about it because there's so much unknown and that means that, you know, there's so many opportunities for people to discover things and turn those unknown things into the known and that's what I really like. <laughs>